Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another sport this week video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the basketball, ice hockey, tennis, rugby, football, darts, cricket, boxing, UFC and NFL and Formula 1 news. If you are new around here though and you haven't subscribed please do so like video if you're doing any live here and let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with the basketball news this week. So Lakers lost 121-104 versus Nets. Warriors 128-120 versus Thunder. Heat 100-97 versus Cavaliers. Lakers 129-123 versus Knicks. Celtics 139-96 versus Nets. Warriors 119-114, no lost 119-114 versus Timberwolves. Um, Lakers 112-211 versus Pacers Heat 106-104 versus Knicks Warriors lost 134-117 versus Nuggets Celtics lost 106-94 versus Suns Lakers lost 131-126 versus Pelicans Heat lost 123-115 versus, uh, versus uh, Bucks uh, Warriors won 119-113 versus Mavericks, and that is all the basketball news. Moving on now to the ice hockey news. So Canadians lost 5-4 uh, versus Senators. Bruins won 5-2 versus Maple Leafs. Islanders trading for Horvat, uh, trading Horvat for Buvilla, Ratty, and the 2023 first round pick. And Horvat has signed a 8-year deal with Islanders. And yeah, that is all the ice hockey news. Moving on now to the darts news, where is the start of the Premier League darts. Um, and so Van Gerwen won 6-3 versus Smith. Wright lost 6-3 versus Dobie. Price lost 6-4 versus Aspinall. Van Gerwen won 6-4 versus Van der Berge. And Van Gerwen lost 6-5 versus Dobie. And that is all the darts news. Moving on now to the tennis news, where there's only a little bit of news. And it being now the start of the Davis Cup. So Zverev. Lost uh, no one two nil versus Wawrinka. Sissipas one two nil versus Guilen Meza, and Zverev lost two nil versus Husler. And that is all the tennis news. Moving on now to the rugby news, where it was the start of the Six Nations, where Ireland won thirty four to ten versus Wales. Scotland won twenty three uh, twenty nine to twenty three versus England, and France won twenty nine to twenty four versus Italy. And that is all the rugby news. Moving on now to the football news, and so. Dyche is the new Everton manager. McKenney has joined Leeds. West Ham won 2 vs Derby. Kelly has joined Wigan. Montiero has joined Leeds. Vigna has joined Bournemouth. Ashby has joined Newcastle. And Cancelo has joined Bayern. Apoku has joined Leicester. Jorginho has joined Arsenal. Ahamada has joined Palace. Felipe has joined Forest. Chalabert has joined West Brom. Traore has joined Bournemouth. Zabarini has joined Forest. Oh, no, he's joined Bournemouth. Uh, Lukic has joined Fulham. Nakamba has joined Luton. Ramsey has joined Middlesbrough. Lokongo has joined Palace. Huet has joined Watford. Fernandez has joined Chelsea. Suarez has joined Fulham. Sabitza has joined Manu. Suter has joined Leicester. Navas has joined Forest. Shelby has joined Forest. Porro has joined Spurs. Doherty has joined Atletico Madrid. Newcastle won 2 1 versus Southampton. Hazard has joined PSV. Dowich has joined Liverpool. Spence has joined Rennes. Uh, Raskin has joined Rangers. And it was the window then shut. Inter won 1 0 versus Atalanta. On Uachu has joined Southampton. So Lamana has joined Southampton. All Brighton has joined West Brom. Watmore has joined Millwall. Burke has joined Millwall. Seferovic has joined Salta Vigo. Barcelona won 2 1 versus Betis. Manu won 2 0 versus Forest. PSG won 3 1 versus Montpellier. Bayern won 4 0 versus Mainz. Varane has retired from international football. Ward won Manager of the Month. George won Player of the Month. Ayu has joined Forest. Real Madrid won 2 0 versus Valencia. Juventus won 1 0 versus Lazio. Martinelli has signed a new Arsenal contract until 2027. Rashford won Player of the Month. Arteta won Manager of the Month. Um. Elise won goal of the month. Everton won 1 0 versus Arsenal. Chelsea drew 0 0 versus Fulham. Man City won 2 0 versus Leicester. PSG won 2 1 versus Toulouse. Dortmund won 5 1 versus Freiburg. Leicester won 4 2 versus Villa. Brentford won 3 0 versus Southampton. Brighton won 1 0 versus Bournemouth. Man U won 2 1 versus Palace. Wolverhampton, uh, Wolves won 3 0 versus Liverpool. Uh, Newcastle drew 1 1 versus West Ham. Pope 
won save in a month. Spurs won one versus Man City. Bayern won 4 2 versus Wolfsburg. Forest won one versus Leeds. Barcelona won 3 0 versus Sevilla. Inter won one versus Milan. And Ozil has retired. And yeah, that is all the football news. That last bit of news, Ozil retiring. I believe that was this week. Um, it seemingly went a bit under the radar, so I don't know if that has happened, but I believe it has. Uh, and if it has, then that's the end of an era, really. Um, but yeah, now moving on to the cricket news. So India won by 168 runs versus New Zealand, and England won by 59 runs versus South Africa. And that is all the cricket news. Moving on now to the boxing news. Pineda and B Dave will fight Stromedy and Sprints on the 4th of March, which is like a tag team kind of thing going on. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of it. Um, I mean, you can say that, like, uh, I'm too much of a classic fan, I suppose, or something like that, but I'm just not really a massive fan of it. I'm sure it might be... Well, I'm not sure. It could be good, um, and I'll be willing to take it back if I enjoy it, but I'm just not really a massive fan of it. I prefer the whole kind of thing of just one person fighting another person, and that's all it needs to be, really. But, I mean, we'll have to see what happens with it. I hope it doesn't become a massive thing in the sport, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, Figueroa will fight Magsayo on the 4th of March Pascal will fight Eifert on the 16th of March Miller vs Brown Asbarov versus Glanton and Abidarak Mov- Banovit, uh, Manov uh, versus Veron will fight on the 18th of March Huni has joined Matchroom Joyce will fight Zhang on the 15th of April Vargas won by unanimous decision versus Duque Ali Walsh won by unanimous decision versus Ayala. Torres Jr. won by stoppage in round one versus Bryant. Delgado won by a unanimous decision versus Booth. Cortez won by unanimous decision versus Melendez. Barboza Jr. won by unanimous decision versus Pedraza to remain WBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion, which I did predict right. And I mean, I expected really. Uh, Navarrete won by TKO in round nine versus Wilson to become WBO World Super Featherweight Champion. And now a uh, Free weight division champion. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't an amazingly good performance. He did get knocked down at, at one point, Navarrete. But, um, I mean, he managed to get to win the end. And it's seemingly setting up nicely for the Oscar Valdez fight later on in the year. Bizzini and won by a majority decision versus Fox to remain North American Boxing Association and Federation Super Middleweight Champion, which I did predict right. Valenzuela won by TKO in round one versus Ulisse Jr. Medeiros won via TKO in round six versus uh, no Medeiros won by a TKO in round six versus Madeira. Aponte won via unanimous decision versus Rivera. Figueroa won via unanimous decision versus Diaz. Ali won via unanimous decision versus Mati to become IBF Intercontinental Super Bantamweight Champion. Green won via TK in round 6 versus Soderus to remain WBC Silver Super Middleweight Champion. Nick Coulson won via unanimous decision versus Alvarez to become WBC Silver Featherweight Champion. Hitchens won via unanimous decision versus Borza to become IBF North American and WBC USA Super Lightweight Champion. Baumgartner won via unanimous decision versus McCallard to become IBF, IBO, WBA, WBC and WBO World Super Featherweight Champion. Serrano won by unanimous decision versus Cruz to become IBF, IBO, WBA, WBC and WBO World Featherweight Champion, which I both predicted both of them right. Um, and yeah, I mean, it seemed like a, a, an overall good card. Everybody kind of expected to win, did win. I believe I might have said one wrong. I believe Rivera did win over a Ponte. Uh, I might be wrong about Sorry about that if I am. Uh, but yeah, Baumgartner and Serrano both getting the wins and Serrano setting up now that big fight which has now been locked in schedule for May uh, being the Taylor rematch in Ireland which will be very interesting to see how that plays out um, Stevenson versus Yoshino Anderson, Davis, Kniba and Carrington will fight on the 8th of April and like I said Taylor will fight Serrano on the 20th of May and that is all the boxing news moving on now to the UFC news Gary will fight Song on the 4th of March. McGregor and Chandler will coach the Ultimate Fighter then fight at the end. It's not being, being a confirmed date, but that means McGregor's back after all that time out. I uh, believe over a year now. Um, he's back and it'll be a big fight, a good fight, which I'm very much excited for against Chandler. I think that's a fight that's been needing to happen for quite a while now and is a, a good kind of matchup between both fighters. Um, It'll be interesting to see how good McGregor is 
uh, coming back from his injury and all that's happened recently with him. Santos will fight Blanchfield on the 18th of February. Tibera won via decision versus Ivanov. Clark won via decision versus Daun. And Spivak won via submission in round one versus Lewis. And that is all the UFC news. Moving on now to the NFL news. Brady has retired officially. Uh, this time officially. And I mean, yeah, I mean, it's quite sad to, to see him leaving the sport after all the time he's done. Of course, achieved so much in the sport. And it would be interesting to see what he kind of does next. I could definitely see him as a coach because, I mean, I don't know how easy it is to become a coach in the NFL. But he's definitely been around it for long enough and got enough experience to be able to do so. So we'll have to see what happens with that. If not, maybe a pundit or something like that. But yeah, it's so sad, to, sad to see him never be playing in the NFL again obviously unless he turns around and says he's coming back but I believe this time it is for good um, so yeah Broncos hire Peyton Texans hire Ryans and NFC won 35-33 versus AFC and that is all the NFL news moving on to you, F1 news where there's only one bit of news and that f and that is Ford and Red Bull announced partnership and yeah that is it for today's video hope you did enjoy like it if you didn't need like it subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching